Hey y'all, welcome to the Institute and this week's acquisition report. This week is a fairly short one because I only picked up three new things this week. Um, and the three of them are all fairly close to each other, so it's not like I'm going to be walking a long ways to find all these guys. So it should be a fairly quick one, but all three of them uh, are very interesting. I like, uh, obviously, otherwise I would have picked them up. They're all pretty critical to certain aspects of the collection. Down here on this corner is one of them. Being Halloween and all, it makes sense to be a horror-themed figure. Here's the Invisible Man. This is the Glow in Dark re Glow in the Dark release. I think that was a New York Comic Con exclusive. Um, I decided, you know, once I got started on these things, mostly because they did the creature over here, right? So I picked up the creature, and then after I picked up the creature, I went back and filled in all the others because I thought, well, I've got one, I should have them all, and now it's turned into a hole. I've got to have the set thing. You know that completist mentality. Unfortunately, though, these are shipped, uh, this one's shipped, last couple have shipped from Ruby's costumes for NECA, and they, they stick them in boxes that are too small, so the card gets a little warped. I'm going to have to flatten this card out. Thankfully, they're very thick, the cards, which means it's a little easier to, to uh, get them to go back into position when there's no wrinkling, but still, very annoying. Number two on the list... Speaking of that whole completist bug, I bet you don't really see this one coming, but the core of Discovery is this line of six scale figures that is themed around Lewis and Clark expedition and includes uh, this Newfoundland down here at the bottom. I didn't even know it was a thing. I've been looking for York. He's the last figure in the set that I thought I needed. And then I saw on uh, eBay this seaman, the Newfoundland town. Yeah, that's what they named him. He uh, was their dog on the trip. He lasted, he survived the whole trip, unlike a lot of the people. And uh, it's actually a really nice six scale dog. Nice sculpt, well done. So he's get added to the uh, core discovery line there. Like I said, I'm still looking for York. I think he's the last one I have to pick up. But you never know, something else might pop up. Third and final, you probably know about this one. This one won't be too much of a surprise. David from the Lost Boys. You can see he's added in here with the other vampires of note. I uh, like this guy quite a bit. I might do a review on him. Um, I'm happy with this young Kiefer sculpting. Costume is really well done. I particularly like the, the boots with the spurs. Nicely done metal spurs. Good tailoring. You get the two heads. You get the normal David head. And then you get this vamped out version but uh, i will say there was one thing that disappointed me i was hoping with this figure that i would be able to put him on the ceiling in this section over here you see i've got the uh, bat gremlin and around the corner here we've got luke hanging from the ceiling i thought david here would have made a nice addition to the ceiling and he comes with that uh, the feet and that uh, that uh, roof piece that you can attach him to Unfortunately, that piece cannot be attached to the ceiling easily. Not the way it's set up. I'll have to modify it if I want to do that. So I was a little disappointed I'm not going to be able to hang David from the ceiling. But other than that, nice figure. Happy with how he turned out. And I might do a review uh, later on this weekend. That's what I'm thinking. I've got one I'm posting today. And then I might do another one maybe Monday or Tuesday for this guy. So that's it. Three whole things this week. Not a lot, but they were all three very cool. Kind of surprising there with uh, semen, the dog. Well, hopefully you're having a really good collecting week, and uh, I hope your weekend goes well. Make sure you subscribe, and on Monday we'll do another Halloween-themed top ten. Until then...